excitement, adventure and passion, followed by overthinking, worry and anxiousness. Hi guys, my name is Kai. This channel is all about careers and the courage to change, change what we do and how we live our lives. But we don't want to neglect that it comes with worries and concerns. So today, what I'm going to do is taking you on a journey. On a journey to reap the benefits of your motivation to change careers. And I do that by pointing out four different ways to get you started changing your career. But one thing I can promise you, you won't see option four coming. Of course, you can cheat, you can go in the timestamps, you can watch that first and then come back here, but play fair, play honest, put in the comment section below what you think option four is, and then we can find out together. Now, let's get started, option one. Most people think of this option first when considering a career move. Leave everything behind, the temptation is high. Say your final goodbyes to your old boss. In reality though, very few people choose this as their first option and that is for very good reasons. Most of us have some sort of responsibility, our family, our friends, an emotional connection or financial obligations. And leaving all of that behind can be very enticing but scary at the same time. There are a few do's and don'ts though. First of all, make sure that the new path that you choose doesn't only play towards your passion. It also must play towards your strengths. The second do, make a decision when you are personally in a very good place. Don't let discontentment about a temporary situation cloud your judgment. And third, make also sure that you are fully aware how this change in career path impacts your responsibilities. One thing you shouldn't do though is just tip your toes in and try things out and not fully committing to this new path. The biggest risk that I see is that in that kind of career move you stay committed to your old self, to the picture that you've built up about yourself. And that hinders your progress. If you do want to tip your toes into something and experiment, there are far better ways to do that and we'll come back to that in a second. Number two, evolution. When I was thinking about my career change, I was all about option one. I was in fact so preoccupied trying to figure out the new me that it took a career coach and quite a lengthy conversation to realize I don't have to give up everything. I don't have to change everything. I can pivot. And this option may be much simpler and easier than you sometimes think. If you're in a corporate environment, for example, your bosses, if you do a good job, will look out for your talent and strengths. And when a sideways move comes up within the organization, you have a great shot at it. So look out for jobs outside your direct field of work that play towards your strengths and you might be in for a great career move. It happens in all walks of life. YouTube is a great example. Content creators pivot all the time. They figure out new content types to make their content more interesting and yet they keep playing towards their strengths. Remember early on I said don't tip your toe into something, not fully commit? Well, maybe you can tip your toe into some things and assess whether they are working for you. This is the typical side hustle route. You start to enjoy an activity, you try to do more and more about it, it becomes a hobby and at some stage you realize that you can actually make some money with it. Not enough money to make a living, but enough money to make it an enticing option. I think this is a great way to experiment with your career, to try out new things and to broaden your horizon. There are a few do's and don'ts as well. Have a plan. Now, there is a difference between a hobby and a side hustle. A hobby you only have to do when you feel like it, but a side hustle you also have to do when you don't feel like it. So be clear to yourself which one it is. Second thing you have to be very clear about is the time that you want to commit to it. Now, the biggest risk that I see with side hustles is burnout because you're so committed to trying something new and you put a lot of time into it, but you're also still committed to your day job and that can lead to burnout if you're not careful. So be clear 
what route you want to take. Is it to put more time into the side hustle to maybe come to earlier and quicker fruition? Or do you want to take a slower approach and have more balance in your life? It is, of course, totally your choice. But there is one thing you shouldn't do. And that is doing it forever. A hobby you can do forever. A side hustle, if it doesn't pay off after two or three years, you need to have a conversation with a friend, with a business coach, with somebody who has an objective opinion to see whether you are on the right path. Now then, exciting. Option four, are you ready? Have you put in the comment section below first what you thought that option was? If not, you still have time. You can pause the video, put it in the comment section below. Let's find out together. One thing I can tell you, this option is the simplest, the easiest way to change your career. As a matter of fact, it's the easiest way to change your life. Yes, I said it. It's your perspective. It's your attitude. Sometimes the best way to change our career is change nothing at all in our external environment and start with the inner voices and the opinions that we have. A while ago, you were excited about your career. You really love doing it, right? So I've got a challenge for you. If you now write down all the things in your current job that you like and the things that you don't like, and then think about a situation where you can restructure your job to move out all the things that you don't want and take back the things that excite you, are you still in the right career? Now, maybe there is nothing left in you that you enjoy and the things that you are doing right now and you desperately want to move and that's okay. So then let's have a chat and let's get you on the way of the right career move. But don't discount the idea that sometimes a change of perspective and attitude can help us move ourselves forward to a great career. So guys, there you have it. Four different ways that get you started on a career change and I'm curious which of the options you are thinking about right now and maybe any of the questions that you have. So leave that in the comment section below because I will make a few videos. On each of the options, I look at pros and cons and pitfalls and how you can best achieve that career change. And if you leave your questions, I can answer those in the video as well. Looking forward to that. I will see you in the next video.